Hello guys, so uh, welcome back to Living in the South PH. Uh, my name is Ayol and uh, I'm here right now at uh, the border between the municipality of Malapatan and the municipality of Glan. And right behind me is actually this uh, wall mural that uh, the municipality of Glan has repainted, no, re uh, revived. Uh, and this is leading to the welcome arch to Glan and uh, this actually indicates how uh, Glan is really proud of its uh, cultural heritage as well as of all the tourism uh, activities and attractions that they have here in the municipality that's why they're very very proud to claim the title uh, tour town so I'm gonna quiz myself and we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through uh, all the uh, pictures, the paintings, that uh, the scenes that are painted here uh, as part of the mural, you know, of the welcome mural. And let me see how much I know about uh, the history and uh, the tourism of Glan Sarangani province. My name is Ayel and you're watching Living in the South. Alright, so the first image that's painted here is actually that of, uh, I think this is uh, the Spanish, part of the Spanish Armada, the, the Armada Moluca, uh, the very one which uh, Magellan uh, led no, in his quest to look for the Spice Island or Moluca, which is now part of the modern Indonesia, modern day Indonesia. So uh, this one is one of those uh, ships that survived the Battle of Mactan and I think this is led by Elcano and according to records uh, this ship actually passed through uh, the waters of uh, Sarangani Bay that's why I think Glan placed it here and in time for the celebration of the quincentennial commemorations in the Philippines kasama yan alright so I think uh, this was led by Elcano uh, and they pass through the waters of Sarangani Bay. That's why that's there. And then we have there, I don't know the names of these people but I believe these are the early Christian settlers in the municipality, right? Glan being the oldest uh, municipality in southern Mindanao, uh, it's actually it actually belonged to the colonos or the colonies uh, of settlers. Right, uh, in 1914, I think that's the arrival of the first uh, settlers here in Glan. Before the settlers arrived, Glan was inhabited by Blaans and Muslims. Christianity was brought later on by the settlers. So the municipality of Glan is actually an intermarriage of different cultures. Today, Glan is a good example of peaceful coexistence of different cultures with its rich history, culture, and of course, the very bountiful nature, Glan is indeed the heritage town and tour town, the tourism capital of Sarangani province. Now let's move on to the tourist attraction section of this mural. And I think that first one there is the white rock formation on the way to Fulafikum, which comes next. That is the waterfalls in Small Marcus Glan. And we have there next is the mystical uh, Lanao Kapanglao Lake, right? It's a lake that's on top of the mountain, and not a lot of people have been there, but it's a it's a, it's a fabled no uh, lake, and uh, the road there has just been developed, so I think it's going to be attracting a lot more tourists. And then we have there, of course, it's a an image of a child using these binoculars. Uh, this is part of, uh, I think, the, 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 the Glan South, or the southern part of Glan is actually a pathway of migratory birds. And every year we have this so-called uh, Raptor Watch or Raptor Festival, where people can actually witness the migration of these raptors from outside the Philippines, seeking food and uh, shelter 
of course, from the changing weather patterns. And then we have here, of course, the beautiful white sand beaches of Gumasa.